let's talk about one of the veggies you could plant in early fall while your tomatoes aren't shining anymore. Things like lettuce and Swiss chard can. They can handle the cool temperatures. Actually, all of the lettuces are really cool tolerant um, plants. They thrive in that. So let me show you what I'm going to plant. The first one I'm going to plant is Rocket, also known as Argulia. And um, you have to really like this. It's got a peppery taste. It's very healthy. And um, it actually could go six degrees and handle a light frost. Supposedly, it helps with a sweeter taste if it has a little frost. But um, no matter what, it's got that pepper taste, which I love. Now, and the health benefits are great. Now, if you had to plant one um, lettuce, I would do the salad greens. It's also called the Simply Salad Endless Supply. It's got the reds. It's got everything in there. Now, these are wonderful. They can handle up to 32. Um, they said it really can't handle frost, but mine um, handle it. And what I like about this one, you could just pick off each leaf and it's wonderful. Now, you want to add some color and some zest to your um, salads? Swiss chard. Remember, this is used as ornamental and edible, but can you see the different colors? The health benefits are incredible. This also would prefer to grow 45 to 55 degrees, which is perfect for the fall. And for some lucky people, that's their winter. And um, these will add a lot of color. So you could put these in arrangements, the edible arrangements. Remember, we did that last year. I'll link that. And um, these are just so easy to grow. Now, what do I need? What kind of soil? I'm going to put mine in raised beds. Um, It'll keep it warmer with the sun hitting it so they'll last longer. And I need to fertilize it. Now, when you fertilize these, you want something with high nitrogen because remember the nitrogen is really gonna give the boost for the leaps because that's what we're going for. We're not going for fruit, we're going for leaf growth. And remember, any edible, go for organic. Now, how do I um, harvest these? The fun part. When you harvest, don't cut. Don't ever do that. What you want to do is you want to take the outer leaves because this could go as long as your temperatures will allow it. All winter for some. You just keep peeling it and it'll keep um, coming back. That's why it it's called the endless salad mix. So um, that's how you do it. Now, location, location, location. <laughs> I plant mine in the raised bed, like I said, because the sun will bake that um, raised bed and it'll help keep it warmer. And I'll use a row cover to keep it um, um, warmer when it gets really cold. Now, you want something that's going to get sun, six to eight hours sun, because remember, we're done with the heat, hopefully, and um, they need that sun. And um, soil, just a lot of organic material, loves organic. So um, we use a lot of leaf compost, as you know, and it really provides a lot. But this is Sabrina from Kimball's Freedom Farm. And the next thing we're going to plant is the cruciferous veggies. But we're not going to plant them in the garden. I'll show you where I'm going to plant them. And also, I'm going to do some dishes using the um, either hibiscus flower or the rose mallow flower. 
along with the outer leaves of kale and cabbage and broccoli. It's a wonderful Thai dish. So I'll see you then. And please subscribe. It really helps and hit thumbs up. Have a great day.